As sunset approaches, tens of thousands of trick-or-treaters will descend upon Bay Area neighborhoods tonight. Many searching for the best candy, others the best decorations. KTVU's Jesse Gary live now in Livermore, where he found one block that is something for every holiday palette. Jesse. Julie, good evening to you. Yeah, it's getting a little bit later in the day. We're in the 1300 block of Winding Stream Drive here in Livermore, and this is a block that is all things Halloween. A little bit of kids out right now. Of course, that'll uh, grow as the evening gets later, but right now, you can come out if you're an adult, drive through, and just take a gander at all the sights. Each Halloween for the past 25 years, the homes on Winding Stream Drive in Livermore reflect the theme of the holiday. There's a lot of kids on the street and they look forward to it, so it's just a good time and we all just spend a lot of time preparing and it's fun to see it all come to life. The catalyst for this neighborly cathartic endeavor is retired engineer John Staten. I think what it is is because it's, it's, it's uh, an excuse to just do whatever I want. His obsession with creating Halloween masterpieces includes pirate ships, haunted houses, and even X-Wing fighters. This year, the jewel of the 23 house block, the Barbie house. I was going to do Wednesday from, the, from that series, uh, Wednesday Adams. I love that series. Turns out his wife and daughters love Barbie more. So began the month-long weekend work to construct the two-story pink place in front of his place. This is probably one of the best Probably one of the best constructions that I did. I'm really happy with the construction. Um, some of the, there's some things that might have wanted to do different, but it's stable enough. I could walk around on the second floor. Other neighbors went with other themes. There's the cat house, the spider house, the house of pumpkins, the butcher house, also called winding scream. I've heard of um, the street in Livermore, and I had to see it for myself. And it's just so fabulous to come to this street and see um, what everybody has created. Experts say the shift from honoring the dead to giving candy, maybe a little scare, and coming together to create something unique is the glue that bonds communities together. It lets us, as a community, really celebrate our neighborhood, make connections with our neighbors. It lets us laugh together. Um, it lets us really let our guard down in a really fun way. So here, the spooky, scary street is also the cool community street, where life imitates art, imitates life. Each year we add to it, so we only have a few pieces. So eventually we'll have, you know, a little more. But, yeah. Barbie House will be up until Thursday, then end of the week and into the weekend, deconstruction. John says he's going to take Thanksgiving off, and then he'll pick up again for Christmas. As you see, people coming here, taking their pictures in front of the Barbie House and in front of the Barbie box. So a lot of fun right now. Okay, as I said earlier, trick-or-treaters, not quite out yet, but they're getting there as it gets a little bit later. If you're taking your kids out trick-or-treating, our experts say feed them first. Don't let them trick or treat hungry. Give them some healthy food first so they don't fill up on candy and you don't have to eat all the candy tonight. I don't know why they would say that, but you don't. You can save it and stretch it out <laughs> through the holiday. We're live in Livermore this evening. Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox News. Julie, we'll head back to you in Oakland. Yeah, I like it, Jesse. You can walk through, you can drive through and get your fill all in one block. All right. Thanks, Jesse. One sitting.